It's time to let go of this toxic relationship. Loungers. what's up y'all welcome back to another video it's a new day today is, is today friday i don't know i've actually lost count of the days like a long time ago i don't even really keep up anymore but today's a day it's a new day and i wanted to talk to you guys really really quick i'm in here about to cook breakfast but as you guys can see this one right here with her little beads say i got beads noble Show them your bees, Steve. Shake it here. Shake it, mommy. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> um, but I woke up this morning. I woke up kind of early. I woke up before everybody, but that's not new. I'm usually the first one to wake up anyway. But I woke up with different energy. Like, I don't know what came over me overnight, but I woke up and I'm like... <laughs> what's your purpose like i ask myself that all the time you guys and i never have an answer for it and i still don't have an answer for it but i woke up and i was like what is your purpose like what's your reason like what are you here to do now i know i'm a mother and i'm proud of a mother being a mother to all my kids but it's like what am i here for outside of that like they're my world they're everything but what's minx purpose you feel me y'all know what i'm trying to say so i was laying in the bed i was just thinking like the first thing i usually do when i wake up is pick up my phone phones are very toxic you guys like very toxic okay um i wake up i pick up my phone i check my text messages and then right after that i go straight to facebook okay Facebook, I always tell you guys, my Facebook is more for like my family, my high school friends. Like, that's what my Facebook is for. It's not really for my YouTube channel. I don't, I have never extended the invitation for you guys to add me on Facebook on my YouTube platform. But this morning, I was just like scrolling on Facebook and I'm just looking at all these people's statuses and all the posts. And it's like, I've done enough scrolling from facebook to instagram to the point social media has drained me okay and i decided that i am becoming very disconnected with social media like i'm finding it very toxic like i don't like to feel like that i get on facebook and i'm saying this negative stuff and it's really facebook because when i get on instagram it's more like my youtube people i'm following more youtube people i'm posting about my youtube i post pictures like instagram is a little bit different versus facebook you see the statuses you're seeing all the negative things that's going on just like negativity okay and going into this new year i don't want that energy i don't want to be that one who's stuck on social addicted to social media because in the past years you guys like i will sit on facebook for hours and just scroll and read people's statuses and basically interested in other people's lives okay yeah. like that's yeah. nothing that's bringing me peace basically so i've decided as of today i have deleted my facebook you guys and I'm letting go of everything that doesn't bring me peace. Literally, 2021 is going to be the year of letting go of everything that doesn't bring me peace. And Facebook does not bring me peace. I want to focus, I want to put the same energy that I gave to Facebook to you guys. I spend more, most of my time on Facebook. When really, I should be spending more of my time doing what I love, which is this, filming videos for you guys, connecting with you guys, vlogging my family. This is something that I love to do. But I noticed that my following on YouTube is slowly moving up the ladder because of me. I've always questioned myself, like, why is my subscribers not growing? What am I doing wrong? I'm not putting in enough time to see the results, basically. Now, I know my subscribers have went up a lot but i feel like i've been doing youtube since hmm probably like 2016 
if I'm not mistaken. And it is 2021, okay? And I'm only at 9,000 something subscribers. Like that's just not acceptable for me. Like I should have way more following and it's because of me that I don't. I don't take enough time to put into my YouTube channel, building what I love because I'm too busy putting my energy into things that don't deserve my energy, if that makes sense. So like I said, I woke up this morning and I'm like, okay, Facebook is gone. Like, I'm sick of getting on Facebook. It's not doing nothing for me. It's not bringing me peace. So, I'm letting go of, I'm letting go of it. And with that being said, I figured I would sit down today, write all my things, all my goals down for my YouTube channel. I know you guys told me that you wanted to see me do like a vision board. But uh, it's kind of going to be like a vision board, but it's just not going to be on the board, if that makes sense. I'm going to put it down in writing. I'm going to write down all my plans, all my goals for my YouTube channel. Try to get a schedule. Try to become more organized so that I can build what I love, if that makes sense. No more giving my energy to things that don't deserve it, okay? I just want to have that little brief conversation with you guys. I know the kids are hungry. I know Quan is hungry, so I'm about to cook breakfast. But I wanted to throw that out there because... <laughs> Uh, I'm just sick of that. I'm just sick of it. Like, I'm just, it's toxic. Facebook is toxic. Hell, social media overall is toxic. YouTube is toxic. But this is something that I love to do. This is something that I want to do for my family. This is my main income. So I would like to build and grow my income, okay? And not only that, I would like to grow my channel, grow my following, and just grow as a person. And I feel like this platform is perfect for that. So, with that being said... I'm going to write down my things. I'm going to share it with you guys by the end of this vlog. And we're going to go from there. But for now, I'm about to make the kids breakfast and quine breakfast. I don't really know what I'm going to cook. Noble is on her spoiled shit today. Look at her. Hey, Dick. Hey, hey, mommy. Say hey. Say hey, loungers. Say hey, loungers. Look at you. Look at you. A good job. Mm. Okay, y'all. So I'm about to cook breakfast, and then I will chat with you guys once I'm ready to write down all my goals and stuff. Okay. Okay, guys. So the kids have eaten breakfast. I'm still kind of munching on my breakfast. Um, but I figured I would come in here and talk to you guys, write down my goals, and eat breakfast with you guys because why not? I just made sausage and eggs, and then I gave the kids some fruit, so they had sausage, eggs, and fruit, but. Here's the deal, y'all. I got my planner. This is an old planner, you guys. I'm not even going to show you guys the date on it because I'm ashamed. But I'm going to get me an updated planner because I need to, one. And two, I've never really used planners like that. I've always, like in school, I barely used one when I needed to use it. But I've never been like the planner type of girl. But that's all about to change because I need to get my life organized, y'all. I need to get my YouTube channel organized. I just need to get everything organized in my life, okay? That's just what it is. So I'm about to start writing in my planner. But today I want to sit right here and kind of just chit chat with you guys and kind of elaborate on what I was saying earlier as far as how toxic, preferably for me, my Facebook is and how I feel like Facebook was holding me back from a lot of my things like my dream home growing my channel like I spent so much unnecessary time on Facebook engaging in other people's lives that I feel like I'm missing out on what I want in my life I'm always saying well I want my dream home I want to do this I want to do that but I'm not putting in enough effort and I'm holding myself accountable for that um for my dreams and for my kids <clears throat> so today that is about to change i've deleted my facebook as i mentioned before you guys i'm no longer going to be on facebook facebook has not brought me anything um positive honestly so i'm letting go of everything that does not to bring me peace i feel like i had a very toxic relationship with facebook and it may sound weird but i did and that's no longer i'm letting it go so we're about to write down our goals so i was thinking um, as I was cooking breakfast for the kids and Quan, the first thing that I need to do is organize my channel. I need to get a schedule so that I can be consistent and hold myself accountable for that schedule. Now, I know I've tried this several times, but this time is, is going to be very different. You guys are going to see, I'm just going to show you, I'm not going to say too much about it, but this time is going to be very different. 
So like I said, I want to start by creating a schedule for my YouTube channel. As you guys know, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I do not have a job outside of YouTube. So I asked myself while I was cooking, what do you really have to do on a day-to-day -day basis? Be a mom, take care of the kids, um, make sure the house is tidy, just stay-at-home mom stuff, if that makes sense. So I figured, I started a YouTube channel to vlog my life. And I find myself sitting in the house and I'm always like, hmm, what kind of video should I put up today? What, what should I do? Like, what kind of video? Like, I'm looking on YouTube trying to figure out what's popular, what's trending. I'm done doing that. I'm done. I'm going to do what I love and do what I started my YouTube channel to do. And that's vlog my life, vlog mom life, just show all the things, my kids. And I know that I do that, but I find myself trying to create a niche that isn't my niche if that makes sense i started my youtube channel to vlog my life and all the things mom life so that's what i'm going to do on my youtube channel you guys so the first thing i wanted to do was come up with a schedule like i said i sit here and i ask myself well you don't really have a job so why why wouldn't i just pick up the camera and film so i decided to devote four days out of the week Putting, I'm going to drop a video four times a week for you guys. Why? Because I can do that. I have the time to do that. So I'm going to write that down in my book. Drop a video four times a week, okay? Also, we need to figure out what days of the week I want to drop those videos on. So I figure I need to give myself a space. Like I don't want to be extremely overwhelmed um, with trying to post, 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 post. So I know that I need to give myself at least... A couple days of a break to kind of upload make sure the videos are edited how i want to i find myself rushing during my edits to kind of hurry up and get a video up before that's all over you guys i'm about to give myself the time the time that i have and devote it to growing my channel like that's what i want to do like that is 2021 is devoted to growth okay i'm growing as a mom as a youtuber as a spouse growth okay so four times a week and i figure i would do those days tuesday wednesday thursday and friday so i'm gonna give you guys a video tuesday through friday so i'm gonna write that down in my book you guys can come to my channel and see a video Four times out of the week, you can look forward to Minx posting, okay? Guaranteed. Going Starting at this video that I post today, and we're going to start our schedule. So today is Friday, I believe. So today will be the last day of this week, and then I'm going to take my day's break, my Saturday, my Sunday, and my Monday, and you guys will come back to my channel and see the posting starting on Tuesday through Friday, and then we're just going to do that and stay on our schedule okay so that's the plan <clears throat> the next thing i feel like i need to do like i find like i'm always like i literally study like i study other youtube's chat other youtubers channel and i feel like that's my problem i'm not studying to steal nobody's ideas but i'm always studying the way they edit and just trying to figure out okay how do you do this how do you do this and then i'll go to my channel and try to do this and it's like that's not what works for me okay i need to figure out what works best for me and it'll make my life so much easier let me take a sausage break you guys <laughs> drinking out mom get it done mug because today we're getting shit done yo and that's just that on that so we have our uploading schedule now i'm thinking about going live to ask you guys because i still want to do things for you guys as well because you guys are my audience so i want to know more videos that you guys would like to see as far as what my channel is based on if that makes sense i'm all things mommy over here so all the things that you would like to see motherhood let me know i want you guys i want you guys to honestly let me know i'm probably going to do a live video maybe tonight um you guys will see and you guys can kind of let me know what type of videos are you guys interested in what type of mom life videos do you guys like to look up on youtube so that i can kind of incorporate some of those videos if they work for me if i kind of like agree with them and they work for me 
into our schedule okay um the next thing i wanted to talk about was my instagram i'm about to start being more social on my instagram um as far as my instagram stories just kind of updating you guys now i do put post on my instagram story when a video is uploaded or being about to be uploaded but as far as like kind of talking to you guys and chatting on instagram i never do that i don't go live on instagram like i just don't i don't know why but i'm about to become more active on my instagram because instagram is my platform um it's the platform that i use to promote my youtube channel so i want to become more active on my instagram um as well so i'm going to write that down on my paper because that's one of my goals become more active oh, my pants are not the word okay there it is become more active on insta we got our videos four times a week our schedule is tuesday through fridays guaranteed let me put guaranteed okay and also the last thing i want to discuss um i've been talking about it with my best friend my sisters and i kind of want to discuss it with you guys as well and that's about my merch okay um while i know youtube does like once you hit like a certain amount of subscribers i believe it's 10k if i'm not mistaken a lot of things have changed with youtube so i really don't know um you get a chance to sell merch it's like a third party through youtube and then they take out their portion and then you get your portion and so on and so forth well your girl ain't trying to go through youtube to do her merch okay um i've decided that i want to do everything by myself and i know that seems like a lot and it is going to be a lot but this is something that i want this is something that i want to work towards so i'm going to give it my all and i'm going to work hard on it and i hope that you guys like it and i really have been behind the scenes working on my merch line as you guys know it is called lounger apparel but i have something exciting coming for you guys and what it is is i'm going to do a pre-merch drop if that makes sense i don't know they don't really sound right but what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a i'm going to do create a um sorry i'm being nosy i'm going to create like a preview that's a that's a good word for it a preview of what the line is going to be about with sweatshirts so i'm going to get a certain amount of sweatshirts and these are going to be exclusive these are going to be the only sweatshirts once you guys see these sweatshirts these are going to be like the only ones the amount once they sell out that's it those are going to be if you buy one that's going to be the only ones i'm ever going to sell like that okay so one of a kind sweatshirts i'm going to drop and they're going to come in small all the way up to extra large and it's going to be four colors and i'll share that with you guys once i get everything um all together it's going to be four colors and they're going to be exclusive like i said so when they do drop get it while you can y'all because i'm telling you once they're gone i'm never going to sell that particular sweatshirt and it's not like it's not gonna be like a crew neck sweatshirt not like a hoodie sweatshirt but like a crew neck type t-shirt and i was thinking maybe dropping a t-shirt as well so i'm trying to see if i just want to do the sweatshirt and then just let that be it or do this t-shirt and the sweatshirt but we will see once we get there but it's super exciting i feel like my vision is finally coming to life and i was like i said i wanted the plan was to drop once i get to 10k um to drop my entire merch line but i know it's not going to be ready because i have so much more things that i want to put into it that i know it's not going to be ready by the time i drop 10k and although i'm at like 9500 it's just like i know it's not going to be ready and i don't want to overwhelm myself trying to hurry up and hurry up and put this merch line out and rush it and then it's not how i want it so like i said i'm going to do a pre-launch kind of give you guys an idea of what the merch is going to be looking like with the sweatshirt vibe when i drop the sweatshirts they're going to be the only the ones that i get 
those are gonna be the only ones once they sell out that's it i will never sell that particular sweatshirt again um but i'm super excited you guys so i'm gonna write that down on my notes merch um because i want to show you guys that soon and also when i hit 10k i will be giving away three sweatshirts out of that line giving them away um so three of you guys three of my lucky loungers will be getting a sweatshirt for the free from your girl um as like a gift saying thank you for all your support for supporting my channel for us reaching 10k so let's hurry up and get your girl to 10k so you guys can see what i've been cooking up in the kitchen okay so we're gonna do the merch and then we're gonna do our giveaway i'm gonna put that down and i'm super excited about it i can't wait to reach that milestone because that's just gonna give me all the ammo and push that i've been needing i feel like that 10k mark is just like a home run to 20k then so on and so forth so yeah you guys that's it like i said i woke up this morning new energy just wanting to change I don't want to stick with my old 2020 ways, being addicted to Facebook and putting so much time and energy into things that don't bring me peace, as I mentioned before. So that relationship is no longer. Um, this is not like my typical type of video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Give this video a huge thumbs up. I will see you guys on Tuesday for our next video. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in our next video. Bye y'all.